One of the wonderful things about doing biological research at UC San Diego is its location here in La Jolla, surrounded by some of the world's most premier private research institutes and also the industry that surrounds us. We have nearly a hundred faculty in biological sciences that range in disciplines from evolution to immunology and everything in between. So a student interested in any aspect of biology has an opportunity to find someone who's doing the kind of work that they would be interested in. Evolution is pervasive in all areas of biology and in medicine. Up until a few months ago, we hadn't developed a new antibiotic in more than 20 years. And so understanding how these populations of microbes evolve so rapidly to overcome what we can throw at them is very important. So one of the things that my lab studies, one of the things that I find really fascinating is the fact that in the embryo, each one of us, when we started forming our limb skeleton, the small beginnings of the bones that were going to form your humerus, your radius and ulna, and the digits of your hands, they initially form at the same size. How that happens, how you get the difference in growth so that smaller bones grow at a slower rate for a shorter period of time than the long bones is something that we don't understand. So to answer this question, my lab has turned to a species of rodent that's closely related to the mouse, but has dramatically different skeletal proportions. It has elongated hind legs, particularly the feet. So this disproportionality gives us a window into understanding the mechanisms of how proportions are established in us and in any organism. I think it's really important for faculty who are engaged in research to be involved in teaching students because we're on the front lines of what science really is. And so people who have experience in research science that can teach the students that it's all about creative exploration and tying ideas together and questioning the unknown, that's what science is.